Yeah, I've got a feeling that this song is about to be pretty rough. So buckle up. All right, guys, gals, bros, and broettes. We are about to delve into the band Immortal Disfigurement. Now, what I was told about this band was that the previous singer of the band, Lorna Shore, started a new project. His name is C.J. McCreary. Lorna Shore is a deathcore band that takes it to the extreme. To be honest, this really isn't my genre. But I have noticed that for some reason, this deathcore sound has trended on TikTok. People love to make their videos on TikTok to prove how, how hard they are. So I just expect this to be another one of those bands that those of you that browse TikTok will see someone make a video and they'll include uh, an excerpt from one of these songs, either Lorna Shore or this Immortal Disfigurement. It's early in the day, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started. So let's take a look at Immortal Disfigurement. The name of this song is Dragged Through the Inferno. Let's do it. Sounds like the intro to a video game. I have a feeling it's about to go. That tends to be what happens. It looks like the singer of Life of Agony that became a woman. Well, can't say I'm surprised that's somewhat what I expected. I am surprised that the singer does look like the old singer of Life of Agony. Actually, the same singer of Life of Agony. Life of Agony had a vocalist who transitioned into a woman. <laughs> it's Keith Caputo. And I was a big fan of Life of Agony back in the day. He then transitioned into Mina Caputo. I just remember when I saw them live, the rest of the band were so big. They were big old burly guys. And then this little dude comes jumping out there with this blonde hair. And he's like five foot five and had this huge voice. This guy reminds me, looks wise, of Keith Caputo prior to Keith becoming, you know, Mina Caputo. But so far, very Lorna Shore-ish. Uh, I like Lorna Shore. I mean, I'm just not a big fan of Blast Beats, but I do like talented musicians. It's just, you know, I hear a lot of politicians and a lot of people on Twitter, and they, they do what I call word salad, where they say a bunch of things that really don't mean anything, 
just sounds like it's intelligent, sounds good, but when you break it down, it really, they just went into a big circle, just a big word salad, didn't mean anything. That's kind of how I feel about this music. It's impressive, but does it really say anything to you? Does it really do anything? But I do find it interesting. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Here comes the new thing. Very warm and short. It is much too early for me to be listening to this stuff. Band is super talented. I mean, they, they, they're very fast at what they do, but it's a lot of noodling, you know, and, and I mean, I like some noodling. If you're extremely good at it, it's fun to watch a good guitar player just kind of noodle through during rhythms. But after a while, it does get a little old and this seems to be kind of pushing it pushes the envelope on how much I can tolerate just I don't know it's an acquired taste let's get back to it Run that pentatonic, baby. It's a cool video. I'll give it that. I'm expecting a very long, deep scream here soon. I'm sorry, sir. Could you repeat your order, please? The 
long held scream. There's definitely a death core blueprint. Sounds like my stomach after I eat Frito pie. Well, there you have it, guys. Immortal disfigurement. I can't say it surprised me in any way. I. I I know the blueprint of Death Corps, and it went right down the line of the blueprint of Death Corps. Are they talented? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty brutal. Just really not my cup of tea, but to each their own. And there was a lot of noodling on guitar, which does, after a while, grate on my nerves, but everybody's different in that aspect. I just, I don't know, the, the right hand, it's hard to explain, but vocalist reminded me of Lorna Shore, which is, you know, that's where he came from, so that's expected. I wouldn't compare him and Will Ramos because I think they both are pretty talented as far as what they're capable of doing with their voices. Say what you want, but that shit's hard. What he's doing is not easy at all. But that's it, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to get some early morning death metal in with me. As always, click the like and subscribe button. Give me some comments. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like for me to react or review. And until the next time, guys, come at me, bro.